So welcome back to Brandon Switch Left Noding. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you this uh, node setup created using Spreadshock and Geometry nodes. Um, this setup is actually super simple and I'm just using uh, the new nodes of Geometry nodes under Blender 3.0 Alpha. It's the Delete Geometry. So Delete Geometry, in this case, I'm just um, deleting the geometry based on selections and the selection is created uh, by using weight inside spectro and the weight is generated using noise that's why we have this result you can see this is a spectro passing the weight data into this object let me get rid of the solidify so we have only just flat plane and this this plane is made up uh, using these nodes I will explain in a bit if you look at the weight paint you can see the blue color there if I remove this if I mute this using M so the red color is the noise generated by Spreadshop and I can multiply the noise Okay, this is me multiplying the noise. Just now I was mul multiplying the wrong thing. This is the, the time. So this is the noise kind of animating. You can animate the node, uh, the node, uh, the noise in X or in the Y directions or in, in the Z directions also. And I'm driving it using time. So this is the actual noise. And currently it's only 20 by 20 polygon face being generated from Spectro. I can increase it to 40 by 40. Now we can see the noise a little bit better. So this noise will do the cutting for us. That's why we have this result. Let's go back to object mode. And we can invert it. We can invert the, the weight. So this is the new nodes basically. It's, it's super simple but it's really useful. And if we have for example uh, maybe UV sphere and we are using the same geometry nodes. There this one. That's simply deleting by selection. However, the selections is depending on the weighting you give. For example, if, if I make my own selections, create a vertex group, assign the weight into, into my selection. So with this guy, if I select the group, you can see it's deleting the face. So the same idea here with Spreadshop, <coughs> excuse me, we can select the Spreadshop selected group and we have this result. Originally I have only a single plane and this is noise kind of animating but I can multiply this easily using this line, vertex line. So we have this result. Oh yeah, the spread chop is actually doing the hard job here. So the line is multiplying the plane. We can have, for example, 10. And then I'm joining the plane into a single object. So I can generate the mesh using spread chop. And then here, I'm generating the vertex group weighting on the fly. And also there's this rounding and map range that I forgot to explain. This is to control the noise weight. So if we go back to weight paint, mute this using M. This is the weight that's being generated using Spreadshop. This is between 0 and 1. And I'm using the map range to map the 
the number or the value you can actually see the value here under this so before we round it the value is looking like this but we need to round it also because we, we want it to be between 0 and 1 so either one will select the face and then deleting the face sometimes you still get the the edge left over there but doesn't matter we can solidify there it's clean okay so you can increase the number 50 or 100 whatever and we get this result and it's also animating so could be a little bit heavy maybe i don't know maybe the there's a lot of processing with stretch off ideally maybe i mean we don't need to use stretch off we can create selections using geometry nodes itself but it's just much easier for me to explain like this just a single node delete geometry and then the noise is being generated here using stretch off it could be a lot faster if we are using blender's own procedural texture and then we use the UV but since I'm generating the actual plane inside Spreadshop so this is a lot easier to explain we can increase the number so I'm making, making it like five times more it's gonna take a long time to calculate but we, we're gonna get smoother noise could be a lot faster if we are using the 3D texture but still interesting anyway um, hopefully you'll find this useful and thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye